this is I, I drew this before, right? So this is what happened. So the majority of men here are indicated here. Okay. This is men. And then the majority of women, these are supposed to be equal in size. Actually, here, let's undo that. Okay. And then the majority of women here. Okay, this is a Venn diagram. So this is typically where they would marry. Okay. And then this little subset here. Okay, this would be side chicks. Side chicks, women who are just not good enough to get the ring. Okay. So you're looking at, I would say, let's just say back in the day, I'm just throwing some arbitrary numbers around. 70% of women and men were getting married. And then you had 30% of the side chicks over here. And then for the dudes, we're just like, you know, losers basically who couldn't get married. And that's 30%. And see, a lot of you guys, when you hear LTRs and you hear relationships and stuff, you guys get afraid. You just, like, assume it's not going to work. Okay? You just assume it's a worse. Okay? And, like, for example, the guy perfecting game, he's like, well, how do you know you're not the beta in this situation? Well, if you're smart enough to ask that kind of question, probably not going to be the beta. Like, do you do you really think that in my previous relationship with Miss MLD that I I was the beta? Do you really think that I was the beta male man and I was just being controlled by her and led by her and she was pulling all the strings? Do you do you really do you really think that? Um, perfecting game. You were there in the chat. Is that how you're judging of like? Is that how you're judging of character? Uh, goes when you see a guy like me. I'm interesting. I'm interested in knowing that. Because uh, if you do think that, I mean, that's pretty poor judgment of you in, in general. You could probably, I mean, if you have a good judge of character, you probably understand that I'm not the kind of guy that gets jerked around or controlled, or bossed around at all. At all. That shit does not sit right with me. It, it, it fucking upsets me on a biological level. If a girl comes to my house, starts making noise, or starts telling me what to do, like, instinctively, I, like, get, like, a knee-jerk reaction, like, no, 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 what the fuck, bitch, no, what the fuck are you doing? I get, like, I don't, I don't, I don't deal with that well, okay? Anyways, uh, this is, let's just say 1970s or so. This is where it started, right? Okay. So you have 70% uh, of them marrying off to each other, and then you have 30% side chicks, right? And so the out of this married couple here, I would say like a slice of these dudes are alpha, right? Say 10% out of the 70% are alpha, right? And then they would dip into the side chick pussy container once in a while and have their side pussy. And the majority of the women were marriage material, you know, always say, right? You know, Saturdays were for wives. Friday night, you go out, you work, you go out, you cheat on your wife with mistress. Friday night after work, you go meet up your mistress, you have fun. Oh, baby, come home late at night. Oh, baby, I was working late. You know, I was with the boys. And close this deal. I got, you know, I'm home late. I got to go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's wake up Saturday. You're with the kids. You're with the wife. It's dad day, right? That's typically how it was done. Side chicks were for Friday night. Saturdays, you go out and have fun with the wife and the kids. Sunday, you go to church. You dress up. You make your, your you say hellos to the, the priests. You say hello to the congregation. Maybe you do some Sunday brunch, right? You maintain the family, and then you go home, and then Sunday afternoon, evening is everybody gearing up for Monday starting up again, right? So that's typically how it, it would work. And so the side chicks uh, knew their place too, right? They knew their place. The problem is you got 
uh, you got ambitious side chicks these days. Ambitious in the sense that they want fucking main chick title, but without main chick responsibilities, okay? So let's just do a breakdown here real quick, okay? So now let's fast forward to uh, 2022, okay? So 2022... So 2022, we'll say, how many people are married in 2022? I don't know. We're, we're going to drop it to 50, okay? So now you got men here and women here. So men and women. So you have accepted the truth. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, and so you got 50% here. In the middle, married. Okay. And then these are married, right? And then here you have side, okay? And again, this is what Joe Rogan is talking about here. For the, the biggest shift is hot women. When a hot woman goes, a hot woman goes from being a hot 25 year old to being a completely unattractive 60 year old. Like no one wants to have sex with you. But imagine if your personality was based, like a lot of these Insta ho like think about the fuck the future that they're looking at. Because if you look at them when they're 25, like their entire existence is about, you know, videos of them doing squats from behind and, you know, inspirational quotes and music. And they're just flooded with attention. Their inbox must look like a tsunami of dick <laughs> just flying at them, right? For the but what they're not prepared for is the majority of their lives being alone and miserable. Okay? Being alone and miserable comes with the territory of side chick society right now. Okay? Because again, what is a side chick? It's Jeff, it's just a euphemism. Do you know what a euphemism is? Okay, euphemism is a nicer word you use to describe something that really isn't that nice. And all slide chicks are, are, slut. Slut, as defined here on Google.com, a woman who has many casual sexual partners, okay? That is a side chick, okay? So, we're having... Now, 50% of the side chicks shooting for a lot of these dudes that are married here because here are where all the worthy guys are, okay? For women have it tough, too, because now 50% of dudes in America are losers, literally. You see how easy it is to get ahead? Literally, America, more than 50% because they're all fucking fat fat people are everywhere in america you guys just don't get it it seems normal to you but it's not normal you see what i'm saying but now you have the side chick number and side chick number is going up okay and you have a lot of these women who are delusional delusional and saying i don't need anybody when i get older I don't need a man. I don't need a family. I don't need anything. Okay? Which is insane. 